All right, we are on. This is this is what third or fourth fourth build session. Third. third crazy, building. crazy. Yeah, third or fourth. I don't know, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I think now we we are so tied to this. Ki the only progress that's happening is when we are on this call. <laughs> I don't know accountability. <laughs> Paras was talking about accountability as a problem before few minutes before, and I think yeah, accountability is a big problem. Which which domain? Paris, are you thinking of building for account, solving for accountability? In? As, as, let's say for the end users, it will be a WhatsApp thing or a call, uh, either one of them to Any, what start is the that trigger. Accountability now, and I'm just thinking with accountability with a daily things. Uh, let's say, let's say this one as well. Like. You, you, all of the group members who are part of the Redmi uh, group, uh, they, they, I'm sure they, they on a weekly basis they've decided to do something, but uh, something comes into picture, right? So every day morning, the the system will just ping you, what's your plan for the day? Can you commit something for today? And at the end of the day, just nudge you that uh, have you made progress or not? I don't know it'll, whether it'll put you in a guilt trap. Interesting. Not, it, it's but... almost like a boss as a service. Yeah, it, it, it's a coach. Let's say to, to give you the, the the name as well. It's called Better Life Buddy. So uh, I, I'm thinking that there will be various models. You could have, let's say, a friend of yours along with that in the same group, and uh, the uh, the rest of the job is done on a personal basis between the friends as well. Uh, or or it could be just me and the let's say the technology and the end user as well. But again, these are our thoughts. Uh, need something to be put on ground. So I, I'm I'm almost towards the end of the cohort at mind as well. And again, the same accountability is something which I am lacking as well <laughs> to build it as well. Sahi sahi. So you're dog fooding, which is always <laughs> great. I think those are the products that make it. Cool. So we can start this session Wahab, over to you. I'll, I'll also quickly share a link in the chat. Maybe Wahab, you can open this um, and maybe share a screen. And that, that is something I just remembered. I uh, landed upon it a long time back. And when you mentioned like a proper accountability service, which is like defining your goals and then checking in. I just remembered. I'll just quickly find that link. Um, can you share your screen? Yeah. Yes, I think I got it. Just open open this link. Boss as a service. Yeah, yeah. I love the copy, man. Just see how crisp is it is. We make sure you achieve your goal. We keep you accountable. You get stuff done. So right. again, uh, this is a technology based solution. No, no, this is a this is a personal account. Oh. I know the person who runs this. I got in touch with them a long time back. But yeah, I think we don't have a boss. Hire one. <laughs> yeah, that, that that was the plan as well. That to see, see the copy. If you just go yeah. through the copy, like I love this copy. It's super awesome. Uh, if if you read this far, it's possible. See, see, just read the left left side things. Go up. Uh, go up. The first FAQ <laughs> says, if you have read this far, far, it's possible. This is for you. <laughs> you see in us your soul mirrored. What copy? <laughs> I think whenever we have a landing page, this is the copy to aspire to. Not your friend's accountability buddy service because you know that does because not. You know that does not work. Oh, that, that was good. <laughs> you don't need another app to write down your to-dos in. You need something to make sure you're doing them. Like it, it just attacks all of your things. Um, how do I send in? Simple to-do submission because we want to make life simple. And uh, why do you need proof? No, we won't take your word that you did it. <laughs> we know your Weasley ways, which is like a Harry Potter reference. That's pretty cool. So cool, yeah. Uh, don't pedal us. Like, what if I falsify the proof? Don't peddle us your fake news. We know the difference. Put your money where commitment is. So you should subscribe. We like free stuff, but then we also like money. <laughs> this is like as honest <laughs> as it gets. <laughs> cancel anytime you want. We don't make it difficult to cancel. See, this, so this is like great copy. Is this a real thing? 
existential question are we really real if we don't exist on the blockchain <laughs> is this a joke or a stunt website no nope. we have said deadly serious a total of three times go ahead control of deadly serious we are deadly serious about keeping you <laughs> this is like <laughs> I love this. I love this. This is like super awesome. Oh, the channels are good ones. Master procrastinator. So they're running this out of India. Yeah, yeah. And like the the copy and the pricing is also super awesome. If you go, uh, I think I have some issue with the earphones. I'll just be back. Okay. Okay. Cool. So we'll just. Hang around till then. Plan to nahi tha, but ha, what's up? <laughs> so, uh, so if you don't mind, I, I I saw something what you're trying to build using with say habit uh, in a group. If, if if I may summarize that idea, but uh, what 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 are you building on right now? Which which you want to share right in this session? So we're doing uh, accountability for a uh, for reading basically for reading daily. Correct. And uh, the problem statement being, let's say, a lot of people buy Kindle, but then even after that, they don't end up reading daily. Most reading is sort of like done on a binging basis, like how we consume TV shows, movies, and uh, that is that is okay. But if like a lot of us also want to read consistently, read daily. Um, so yeah, overall what we want to do is make people more accountable to build a reading habit. Um, I think a lot of us, including me, are guilty of we whenever we go to a bookstore or at airport, whenever we, we buy a lot of books, but then um, yeah, they're just sitting collecting dust. And it's it's almost the the starting, which is the hard part. Once you pick up a book, and of course, if you like it, then you'll continue it at least for a few pages. And uh, slow and steady, you you read a lot. Like even if you read thirty pages a day, you'll read like what? Maybe you'll read two books a month, which is crazy, which is super awesome, which puts you in the top five percent or one percent of everyone who was like growing. So yeah, that is the basic. No, thing. no, this is. Uh, must have idea i i enrolled for one service just just let's say to take the conversation further unless you you let's say it's, uh let's say what well, what can i be... so no so i i was saying i i had enrolled for a service where uh they, they send out emails or short emails every day uh instead of giving you the entire thing and that that's email for a year uh i i so every day they send short forms which you can read. Uh, these are about mental models and other things as well. And it's again a paid service as well. Interesting. It's like uh, a newsletter. Sorry? It's like a newsletter. Correct. And very short form a newsletter. So it's not even, let's say, I, I would say five minutes of your time in a day. Uh, maybe you read that more than that one. That, that was, let's say, just to counter... Uh, let's say an entire book it, it is a book itself and okay. i i heard though i've not uh, let's say uh, enrolled into that service but they they charge a bomb as well there's something called ctq compounds i don't know if you've heard that i'll just check mm-hmm. if uh, they Will run out of drop the link in the chat yeah, yeah i'll try yeah so i i heard this in one of the podcast uh as an advertisement and I, I saw I was very keen to enroll but when I saw the charge for it I said <laughs> I am not going for it guys okay. uh, it, it what, what is the charge I'm like highly highly curious what is the charge it's 20k or something it's not wrong 20k I'll have to check uh, let me just what? check daily reader so they have what? a daily reader 15 minutes of reading takes you places of course it's curation which they charge for at the time as well Hmm. Yeah, so I'm sorry. The daily reader is ten thousand. Yeah, that is also pretty cool. Let's see ah, if we can I, get there. <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty cool, and maybe they have some let's say duration involved as well. Uh, but I'm intrigued that there's something which 
I'm, I'm sure if not me, there are people who are paying for it. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think there are people at every price point and every convenience level. One, one final thing I want to say before we move with the build session is I think one major difference that we've realized over time is curation is has its place, yes, but like one of the USPs that we have picked for our reading sessions is you bring your own book, you bring your own article, whatever you want to read, uh, you do you. <laughs> That's like a Gen Z thing. Um, I think we have tried running monthly like reading groups, um, like how a typical book club does. You pick a book for everyone and then you read that and then you discuss that. And then you realized it's better to just let everyone pick it for themselves themselves and we just act like a reading gym of some sort yeah Love, sorry sorry i'm just intriguing because i i was part of this uh, group once as well habit strong i don't know if you've heard of them they they do deep work sessions on a daily basis as well uh, and they have a deep learning session as well I, I i found it if again takes huh? a bomb as well so i, I enrolled it for a few months and then i <laughs> backtracked but did you did you like it how was your experience yeah i i liked it well even though it was online uh, it it did create some pressure for me to do something or the other on those days interesting so interesting. Uh, how many people it, showed up many many it, it's a, it's a very strong one it, it has a big following on youtube as well as so the, the the person who runs it is Ranjan Singh has yeah. a huge following on various sh- uh, social platforms. Cool. So folks, this is validation that accountability works. <laughs> accountability yeah, yeah. market existence of competitors. Cool, folks. Verb over to you. We'll just go into build mode now. And uh, do you want to like quickly talk about what we are going to try building? So for the past two or three sessions that we have, we just tried to build out the design of what, how would a modern reader profile look like? So we picked out a few components, which we feel that uh, is essential in conveying that information. So at the top, we have favorite books, like the top three books that we want to pin to our profile. So that becomes a starting point for conversation whenever someone visits your profile. Over here, we'll have your profile picture and your display name. Over uh, here, we have two important metrics. One is streak. So a streak is basically the number of days you have read continuously. So part of building a habit is to do something continuously, right? So uh, a metric that actually showcases that on your profile, it gives a good indication about how serious you are about the this particular problem. And the second number is the total number of excerpts. So basically we over here at read 30 x 30, we believe in proof of work. So the way you can give a proof of work for your reading is whenever you are reading, whatever you are reading, you just post a log of uh, maybe your favorite line from the book or maybe just a picture of the page that you are reading. Or even if you would like to summarize whatever you have read or predict what's coming, if it's fiction, Whatever you would like, you just post a log over here and that would actually act as a proof of work for you. Over here, I, we have a section of whatever you are currently reading. So even that becomes a starting point for conversation. And then uh, at the bottom, we'll have blogs like an, like an Instagram-like format. So we wanted to give this a, a social feeling as well. So probably most of us are very active on Instagram. So it will give a familiar look to it. So that's what we have been, uh, we have so far done so far. I uh, would like to know your thoughts, Ankita, Paras. You feel there's something we could add or there's something that could be done differently? Please let us know. Uh, will this, is this for a phone, right? Phone screen. Yeah. So, uh, I just thought that most people would use this on their phone. We mm. can easily expand this to a desktop level as well. But yeah, I think that most of the target audience will open this profile in their phone. I think I like that phone first approach. <laughs> yeah. 
So basically start with wherever your audience would hang out. If they would be using this on a desktop, we would go with the desktop first approach. If it's on mobile, we would go with mobile first. But then these are the information that we feel are necessary when, like these are the information that you would like to display on your profile, right? If there's something missing or there's something that you think is not necessary, please let us know. So from a design perspective, Vab, I, I think it's valid, but I, I just wanted to understand whether uh, you guys intend to have some kind of integration with, let's say, Goodreads, which I have a couple of friends who are, uh, let's say, very strong readers. They, they ensure that they put what they're reading on Goodreads, what they're currently reading. I, I don't know, streak and total excerpts is not something which they share, but that's something which they intend to do. Maybe we can just, let's say, take inspiration from that or figure out if there is some API between Goodreads and what you're trying to do. So as far as I know, the Goodreads API is not public anymore. So we cannot actually uh, use the API. But then, yeah, most of the information has come from Goodreads. So uh, I have actually heard it from multi multiple people that the profile that the Goodreads gives, gives you it's not shareable. The UI is not great. The user experience is not great. And it's not something that you would be proud to display on your social profile. So we are just trying to build a better version of it that people would actually like to share. So that's the uh, reason behind building this thing. So yeah. Fair. No, no, I, I agree. Let's say some sense of progress publishing it uh, socially will, will help in the cohort as well. So yeah. yeah, I agree with that approach. Awesome. So, so far we have a base on Airtable. So what we are planning to do is keep all of our data in Airtable because it gives us a lot of flexibility to, you know, perform automation, send email, trigger emails and stuff like both. But it's, it's really good, <laughs> good uh, no code database. Like if you don't want to go the code route, Airtable is like the go-to database that you go uh, come to. So we have three uh, tables for the time being pertaining to our use case. We'll need to modify some of these as well, I think. Oh, we don't have a place to showcase badges of news. So should we do it right now or? I, I would say let's get uh, into building this so that we have like a live URL as soon as possible. And then yeah. I think we can iterate on design. I think. The things that we are using, um, Airtable and Webflow, PI, mm. I think it will allow us to trade very fast. So there's, yeah. let's start with this. So basically, we can add sections in between any time. I think we'll figure that out. Okay. So for the user, we need the name and the avatar primarily, and then we need to just block the link already. I think. Sorry if I'm interrupting, but just wanted to check with you in the meantime. Are you guys using uh, paid versions of Webflow or for that matter, no. Airtable as well? So far, we are on the free version. Okay. So, yeah, I think the uh, logs are already linked. We have the uh, all the logs. So, no, the total number of excerpts is an easy task. We can just count all the logs. I'm not sure how to go about the tree. So any input through there? Yeah, I think there needs to be some sort of like an formula. automation formula. I don't think formula would work over here. No, I think there there would be some like automation that runs maybe daily, and it calculates whether um like it just goes over all your logs and calculates the streak in some sense. Um, the total excerpt would be a number over here. So yeah, you can just do count. Uh, just do oh, total, yeah. uh, count of, 
I think in some sense the days red is the total X. So we can just rename that. Days red is the number of is right. actually the count one. Yeah. So before we were saying ki for one day you only post one excerpt, but now we are saying that in one day you can also post multiple things. So yeah, total excerpts is here. Um for now, number. Yeah, for now, what I'll say is just do a formula and uh, uh, no, instead of number, do a formula and uh, for now, just do the same as total excerpts. We'll figure it out. Just type total excerpts here. So Webflow, the front end does not need to know whether, like how is this calculated? For now, we can just say, uh, we can just have some numbers. Yeah, just start with that and then we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. One thing I thought of was like uh, getting the log from your, from a user. And then whenever our user logs, so then there's a new log plus the last log recorded and yeah. you just calculate the date between them. If it's like, if it's uh, one, then you just uh, in, increase the three, either way you reset it to zero. Achha, but then this depends on mm -hmm. things like uh, you cannot so add a, you cannot add a past log. Let's say you cannot add a log of three days back. It adds a lot of dependency. Yep. But then that is something we would want as well, right? We don't want users to add logs from the past. But if you see the current behavior, which applies to us as well. Like I am posting my excerpts in bulk. Uh, we are, you are also not posting it daily. I think Ankita is the one. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure actually. Ankita can talk about how frequently people are posting right now, but I feel people are posting in bulk. So they would need an option of backdating it. So what I would say, let's, let's start with this because, uh, I feel that might take more time. Let's aim for this session at the end. We have a working profile link. Awesome. So yeah, let's aim with that. Other things we can work around later. We have the day number. The user it's linked to the excerpt, the book, and the date, right? Yeah. And we have a separate section for books so that we can add metadata over here, like the uh, cover URL. Yeah. So I'll just add a cover URL. We did an attachment. Uh, just search for URL in under field type. Attach attachment. Yeah, yeah, attachment. No, no, it should be URL actually. So it's if it's coming from an API, like an open library API. For it. Okay, okay, that is done. I think we are good to go. We have all the data points, right? We have the script, we have the total number of excerpts, the target are in display name. Okay, we need, uh, so we should have a separate section for favorite books and currently written, right? Separate columns. Hmm. Okay, just to understand this better, so what you guys are doing is first creating the database and then you will create accordingly the UI UI part of it in Webflow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think once the schema is in place, the rest of the things should be like relatively easier. Yeah. So I, I'm able to correlate what he initially discussed the UI and what are the parameters he wants to store and then accordingly create tables in the database accordingly. And I'm, I'm assuming all the tabs are various tables which you guys have created, right? Correct. Yeah, these are the tables which are not relevant to the profile section. That's just uh, how other data that we use for running. The so we can power. do a multi-select here? Yeah. Uh, so multi -select. Field, field type may type this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always get this wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's a UX issue. Yeah. Book. 
Oh, oh, no, no, no. It should be link. Yeah, exactly. So for that, we need to first actually add whatever the book that the user is uploading to uh, read 30 books. And then only we can have the link page done. So the linkage would be done on the back end, right? Like an auto through an automation for yeah. at least currently reading. Yeah. So let's do books. Allow linking to multiple. Yes. Cool. And then there will be one for. We need the name. We just need the cover, right? Yes, we need cover. Correct. This is a separate field, right? Yes, yes, that is that is fine. You can have like lots of columns. That's not an issue. The name, author, and cover. All right. Okay. I think we are good to go. Yep. Now some the UI. So on Webflow, we I think we can start from scratch. We don't need the template anymore. Yep. Yep. So I start a blank site. Love the prompts that they give. Wow, yeah. stunning site. Like what an awesome UX. If you create uh like a, again, what does like does it give a new one? So I think I've called this Udemy profile. No, no, Ava click on cancel and if you click like again, like does the prompt change? Yeah, yeah, it changes every time. Achha, it saves the state, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we had a couple of different ones last time we were angry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wow, beautiful site. <laughs> wow, man, this is <laughs> love it. There's a list of adjectives that they change over here. Yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. Paris and Kita, do you have experience with the flow? I have tried WordPress before and never okay. used that so. I'm I'm in the process of doing uh, let's see trying to understand which one is either be better or cheaper between softer Webflow and what is the okay. third one the Glide apps yeah oh, okay so the Glide apps as far as I know are for creating like mobile side websites progressive web apps correct correct. Yeah, and for uh, software is like I found software to be very limited in terms of design on the free plan. But yeah, then, okay. if you are if you want to create a landing page or a directory, it's like the go-to tool for people because if the speed with which you can build over on software is like amazing. Okay. Then we on our last session we actually were deciding on which platform to use to build it. So the requirement was we needed a uh, uh, the URL to be unique for each user, right? So we wanted the username, like uh, readme.com slash wahab or readme.com slash paris. So that was our re uh, requirement. And the two top contenders were Bubble and Webflow. So we did try with Bubble, but we found its user experience to be a, uh, not up to par. So Webflow is like much, much better than Bubble in terms of the user experience at least. But then, yeah, Bubble is also a, a very big player in the no-code ecosystem. So there must be something that we missed, which is why people love I Bubble. I heard today that Bubble does not like to call itself a no-code player because oh. it is it, it it is aiming, it aims to be much more than that. And I think we saw it uh, it is like it is more geared towards developers who have mm -hmm. some experience building stuff already, and even all their configuration options 
most of them will make sense to someone who has built it, who has built stuff before. Versus Webflow is geared more towards designers. So if you have a right. design in mind, you can make it live. That is like the the target group of those websites mm-hmm. are services are different. Yeah, even when so, I was watching a bubble tutorial, so the whoever was teaching, he said that uh, within bubble, you are still in the programming mode. You are not coding necessarily, but then you are still programming. You are still giving instructions to the computer at, what, like, at every step. If a button is clicked, do this. Right. So, yeah, it, you are still in the programming mode. Just that you don't have to code over here. Awesome. Uh, so, Sopnil, are you there? Yep, yep. So, we uh, should we start with the CMS collection over here? Or should we just add a static layout first? I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> <laughs> I think let's go with CMS collections first. So, we just want to mirror whatever we have on our table. So the reason we uh like we could have actually built all of all these three tables right in, uh right in Webflow itself, but the reason we are choosing to have Airtable like the data on Airtable and we are just cloning it over here is that Airtable provides much more flexibility with the data that we have. Like uh, as I said, we can perform automations and stuff like those. Plus, it's uh easier to separate the data from like it's easier to separate all the parts involved because uh, in future if we want to move the front end to code let's say so we are not completely dependent on web flow right the data is in Airtable so we can actually switch to a code route or if you want to change the no code platform as well like if you want to switch to bubble or if you want to switch software let's say so we can easily change the front end to a different uh, application without having to worry about duplicating the data and stuff like that. So that's the reason we are having uh, the data in Airtable and there's actually no way that we can directly save the data and display on Webflow. We need to have the data in the CMS collection. So we'll have to figure out how to uh, migrate the data from Airtable to Bubble, uh, to, sorry, so, uh, Webflow. So the first collection, I would call it users. We have the name, we have the plug. So basically we need to have a username field over here. As I think it will automatically create based on the name. But do we want it or we do, or do we want the users to choose the username for themselves? I think we can iterate on it uh, for now. Okay. Maybe what okay. we can just start with, uh, let's do like uh, name, Let's pick the, uh, let's say what currently reading. Let's pick the avatar. Let's pick, uh, the, the, the two numbers. And I think let's just get that layout. Uh, we, like we can build it incrementally. Let's yeah, see how that looks. Sense. Yeah. Yeah, we, we don't need to add uh, the uh, constraints here. Let's let's keep keep all the logic on a table. Okay. So the thing, the total number we need the avatar. Avatar would be. So how do we get the data from here? Airtable table would provide a link for would it map directly? I think Let's it will map directly. image first. Yeah. As the avatar, then we need the favorite books, currently reading, and logs. So, first we need to create those tables. So um, create. I'm not sure. I think let, let's get uh, maybe let's. So, I'm just thinking, um, I'm not sure how one page will link to different rows of different tables in webflow so maybe just... be, uh, 
I think yeah. there must be a uh, quarantine relationship somewhere. Let's so see if there is. If I call this multi reference and reference, okay. reference would be to, yep, to the book and log. Got but it. we need to create those tables. Okay. Let, let's sync like these things first. Like, whatever. Oh. Did we lose? I the think let's, let's just create all, all of the Take tables care. and then. All right. All right. What's the name? Book. Name. We don't need the plug. Okay, we can't delete the plug. Yeah, that's okay. What do we have for book? Uh, meanwhile, I'll fill some data in this table so that yeah. we have. Yeah. yeah. The name, author, cover. the uh, book and then finally we'll have log so for the logs we have the date we have Link to the book. Okay, so not this link. Or the reference to a book. And we need a extra profile, so it will be text. Multiple lines. And what else do we have? The day number and the user. The day number would be a uh, number. And the user, which would again be a reference to a single user. Did it actually create the last one? No. So I'll refer to a user. So log is complete. Book can have many logs. So again, it's some multi reference. So log to log. And 
and change this one and do this. I have got multi reference to favorite book. And a multi reference to log. And the reference to currently reading book. I think we are done with the database. So, did you put some dummy data in? Yes, I have put uh, a bunch of books. I'm, I'm doing more as we speak. Okay. Uh, books may, I'm just putting links. Uh, links of the images from Goodread assets. Just click on something. Uh, just see how that looks. Work. Take it. Cool. So just let me know. So, uh, there were actually actually I also came across another tool to do the migration. But yeah, let's first discuss what we have already discussed in our past, uh, past session. Which is the tool? And now I'm very curious. So it's actually called No Code API, which actually gives us an API <laughs> using No Code. I think it's nogodapia.com. Interesting. But so how, this will actually, yeah. How do you use this? This will actually give us an API endpoint and also collect, uh, connect air table on the back end. So whatever data you send to that API from Webflow will actually uh, update the air table accordingly and we can also get data from air table during Achha, interesting. so basically uh it is like you can update air table from webflow so let's say you yeah. can update except add except on webflow itself yeah so whatever we were so uh, initially we thought we would just give the air table form to the user right, right right but now we can actually have the form on webflow so all of this data would be uploaded to webflow itself and from this so the mapping would be from Webflow to Airtable now. And then we'll run Power Importer again to sync back? No, we won't need Power Importer. We can actually get fetch the data from the Node API itself. But uh, we can do like Power let's, Importer. Let's, will let's render actually it help us. Yeah. Yeah. Actually help us create the profile right now. Uh, let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So just let me know when you are done with the data. Like the sufficient amount. Uh, can you like define a sufficient amount? <laughs> uh, so you have two for yourself. The book. Just add a row for Ankita. Uh, I think let's just see one one user, right? How does that look? And then we can extrapolate to others. Yep. So can you just add a and an yourself because yours are the Authentic ones, the log. Yeah. Uh, one thing I just realized it was. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we need images, right? We don't need text. Yeah, I I I thought I thought about <laughs> that because we have images over here. <laughs> so yeah. either uh, okay okay either we uh convert and upload an image directly using uh the read by the API mm. or we just <laughs> modified this section <laughs> for the time being. <laughs> what what I would say, let's let's skip the below wala section. Let's do avatar the streaks currently reading. Let me just add current my currently reading to uh currently reading this. Uh, yeah, and just add currently reading. I'm currently reading this. I'll add your currently reading to zero to sold. And uh, yeah, let's see how this looks. Okay. I'll run power importer. Yep. 
Okay, I'll go offline and add the API key to offline. Yep. So it's just the uh, two of us on stream now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think this is like a what do you say? This is like a either we need to be entertainers <laughs> keep because right. otherwise this is boring stuff right you're creating uh, the schema in pehle airtable then we're doing the same in webflow and then you're filling data yeah, yeah. and it's like almost one hour so yeah but it's actually it's a boring process kya kar sakte agar entertaining karna hota to kaafi kuch plan kar gaya na padta yeah, yeah. just like lot, figuring out lot of effort I think this is more for us to be accountable and ship it. <laughs> yeah. No, I think people would love this if it if we can nail the design at least. I think we'll iterate on the design. I think um the schema is. I think we have spent enough time on the schema to decide. Uh, we we'll the important part. Yeah, capturing most of the things and then the designing the number of excerpts, designing the streak, and then there are badges. I think those are the key parts. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see if I can find some some of my excerpts in um in the in the social media that we sh we are sharing recently let me see so i am going to it key Is the same for our table. Okay, the fun part. You don't need a review. What should I read? So I need to the fun so The user has matched to the user. Book to book, log to log. स्टूडेंट So we have mapped everything on Power Importer. Let's awesome. just hope this works. No, there are errors. <laughs> What is the error? Never works on the first track. Okay, go up. Can we see a view errors? A uh, name. Uh, okay. We need to map. We can map the identifier as a name. Yep. Okay. Okay, so now, after 
that can be viewed. Yeah. Like it should show it moving, right? Like it gives me a lot of anxiety. Yeah. I mean, it is not doing anything. <laughs> I know there's processing going. Like at least start the progress bar. No, what is this bad UX? And then even the loop, the loading yeah. loop, so like jarring. It just goes to uh three sixty and then refresh. Yep. What? Let's sync it. Now I broke this one. Oh, we need to publish the site. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> I just. <laughs> Is there a way to change it? Uh, what? Is there a way to change the API key? Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, we can generate a new. Yep, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then, what's it? Now we need to actually go and do the things again. Okay, let's do that. Can you do that? Okay. Meanwhile, I'll I'll find out some of the um some of the images that I we can put. Yeah. Okay, it was a one click solution. We just needed to change the. What's so the other mappings? Are yeah. intact. What is wow. yeah. Thank you to the developer who made this. <laughs> <laughs> cool. We are at nine, right? Let's just get the basic. Yeah, data yeah. on the page, and then we can do another section. Yeah, once the linking is done, then it's just about making it look good. Uh, yeah. yeah. Let me publish. Reading the Publish. Let's sync it again. Thing, I think. Yep. Why yeah, no item? It works right. What, what? This shows that it's complete, but then I don't see anything. Um, yeah, it's just a edge case of, uh, we changed the API key, but I think we'll have to remap everything, which is what, yeah, it should be that way. Yeah. No, 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 no. We have. To. What? We have to. Okay. Kudos to the developer. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. We need a CMS page. So the user can click. You don't have a profile for template. So even this is template based, like software. Interesting. Or is it is it just from the layout? Gallery? This will be, this will be useful for the uh, exercise. 
Okay. Um, do you want to do desktop view first or mobile view first? Oh, we need to do the mobile view. Uh, yeah, I think from here you can. Oh, yeah, it. we we have. Perfect. So Perfect. we need the heading, which will be our name. All right. Get text form, user, name. Wow, this is so amazing. Oh, oh awesome. This is so easy. I remember dabbling with Bubble recently, and there were a lot of things you have to do. This is like super awesome. All right, let's do the next one. Wow, uh, did you, like such did you put your avatar? Yeah. Oh, oh. Let me see. I can put it or not. Um, I don't think so. Just give me a minute. No, I don't think you have put the avatar. But then we'll have to map it again though. You, we just need to sync it, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we need to sync it again. I have just five, four, three, two, one. Are you upload? What is this? It is stuck. Yes, it is uploaded. Can you just um sync it again? Publishing updates, yeah, which is pretty cool. That's uh, what image image interesting. Get image from YouTube. I got top. Wow, wow, awesome. wow. Uh, and how do we do speak them rounded corners? Uh, we'll we'll work on the design later. Okay. Alright, alright. Then we have that would be a text as well, right? Uh, which one? The yes. Total is there. And we need to do that fire emoji. What is the format? Just click on drop down format. I think this is like the in either integer or sure. dot and show all settings. What are more settings? The colors. Oh, you can get oh what what is this? <laughs> Interesting. It's like much, much better than bubble. For sure. I'm sold on this. How do we add an emoji here? I just I think we can't add. We'll have to make another text and add the emoji and then place them side by side. Okay. Not sure, but I, let's go do that for the time being. I want custom. No. We can add only one piece of like either from the CMS or our custom. This is weird actually. This should not be uh super weird. There are some limitations too. Because then you have to apply same styling to multiple things. Maybe we can then group them. Or is there a way to add inline text or something? So can I add no? 
there actually no text box where i can put and yeah. did you want to search for this like i feel there should be an option i don't think like this should be a limitation um i'm not sure we need to like tile it side by side so this will become a flex box i guess i haven't seen so in our text get text Uh, what are the other the the three options at the top of this the style and the uh, so this is the settings bar at the top what are the left right options the style manager style. okay element and what is the left most thing layout width go down go down uh typography background go down go down there's no text box this is weird let's do that later you yeah. know we need to add what we can also do is we can uh, we can also add the emoji in airtable itself what do you think mm -hmm. about that? so basically whenever we want to change anything so basically then webflow just becomes a uh, a dummy a string like dummy yeah. terminal of sorts whatever is there in airtable you show it so let's change this to um go to so we're saying streak uh, formula just uh, uh, do a drop down customize um yeah just do a space and emoji oh um formatting what? Yeah. Formatting for me. I think maybe you need to add it uh, like do a concat. We need a concat. Just do a plus and then in quotation do that emoji. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Um, Let's just customize again. Uh, see if there's a function called concat. Remove this. I remove everything, type concat. Yeah. And then first would be total excerpts. And then space. And then yeah. Cool. Awesome. Let's press sync. Total except we need that. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Can we do this, on... is a, this is a count, right? Yeah, we need to make this a formula as well. You would formula is a count, okay. Let's do a count. Is there a way to count? Nice. The Airtable is like amazing in terms of in terms of functionality, process data processing. Yeah. Uh, you need to do the scroll in quotes, and maybe we can also do like a space and then scroll. No, I didn't add that. Acha. Still, I feel we'll need the quotes. Let's click save. Yeah. 
Uh, let's add a space before scroll. Yeah, confirm. Okay, let's let's try how this looks. But I'll, I'll <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just change the formula and directly let's just copy excerpts and then just change the emoji. Copy excerpts ka formula. Or yeah, just do log here. Count. Nay ni log log. Total excerpts to perfect. Zero kyun gaya ye? What is this? I think wo oh, log ko chaar kiya the. This thing. Uh, click on click on the bottom this thing the thirty log. Ha yeah and remove the this thing yeah try now. I don't remember. It's called read thirty log and you know this stuff count. Uh let's just like hover on count. What is the counts only numeric array? Oh, this is like a different function altogether. Found all. Yep. One. But two on a chin. I am not sure. Tomato two chin. Okay, let's let's do one thing. Let's do um let's create one more field for now. Which create is text. Which, nee, let's let's create one more field which which is count by the name of count. Or we could have like street street text total excerpt total excerpt text. No, no, I think so. What I'm saying is but let's just get the feature running. Let's create one more new field. Um mm -hmm. Call it count. Uh, field type make select count. Let's just do log. Um, so we get the number from here. And then let's just use these numbers to get these numbers so that we get the profile running. And uh, yeah, we will figure this formula later. We also need a space, no? Yeah, I think we'll see yeah. this looks better. Yeah. Perfect. Create for count. Create for me, no? No, no. I'm I'm creating logs, Abhi. Oh. If you see logs, I've created a bunch of logs now. Yeah. It's a number, so we need to make this a string. Yeah, but... Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, users only. Click on a particular user. Acha settings. Okay. Okay. 
इंटरेस्टिंग नहीं फॉर्मेट नहीं आई थिंक टाइप होगा कुछ वापस से डिलीट कर देते हैं ओ वेट 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 विल वी हैव टू लाइक डू स्टफ अगेन इन पावर ये रन आउट तो नहीं हो जाएगा आई डोंट नो वी ओनली हैड 50 50 यू एंड पॉइंट्स चलना चाहिए लाइक इज देयर नो वे टू हां फॉर्मेट फॉर्मेट गो डाउन यस फॉर्मेट तो नहीं लेट्स ट्राई ए न्यू फॉर्मेट एंड सी नहीं नहीं स्टिल स्टिल नंबर नो इट विल नॉट वर्क या या लेट्स लेट्स ऐड अ फील्ड लेट मी जस्ट क्विकली सर्च इफ देयर इज अ वे टू चेंज इट वेब फ्लो सीएमएस चेंज डेटा टाइप is good that we are doing everything together which is data and designing and building otherwise mm-hmm. it's hard to like <laughs> oh connections to register so it is used in the page i think we need to remove it uh, view connections click on view connections click on uh, this okay. page page acha i like the i like the पब्लिश कॉमन हो गया this page will get any idea what this is um can you show again 
webflow undefined method uh, schema changed error publish your webflow that, that i published so wo chala gaya okay I'm not sure if this is webflow or not. No, this is not webflow. Power imported error. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so what it's trying to do is the user I think what is create server. What? I don't understand. So since we change the schema. Got it, got it. Let's just let's just dump. Let's just drop database. Let's just click on settings. Um, okay. Is it individual rows? Pay? Let's click right click. Let's see if. Yeah. Okay. Logs we delete them. Basically, we need to delete everything. I need this have... pain. So what should we do? Let's let's do it for now, and then next time we'll see. Is there a way to like command shift select all? And does the delete button work? No. Where is it being used? Wait, wait. It says it can't delete it. Why? Just uh, wait on this error message. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I need to remove that too. Ah, uh, what is what is this pain, man? Anything else we need to change in the schema? Let's do it right now. I think all no, no, wait, wait. It says in users, in users. But let's just read it again. I think either if you go to a row. It says this item can't be deleted because it's being oh, grabbed. So pe we need to delete linked records. Wow. Just crazy. So there's no nothing here. I can delete this. No logs. And it's saying log what is this man? Oh, select. Very nice. Delete. Unpublish and then hey, let's let's delete. It will show the error no? What? Current. Okay. What about books? Can we like go to books and delete all? Select. So whatever is not being referenced will get deleted, but then let's... that is like everything is being referenced. Okay, let's go to users ek bar. Uh, let's Same. open one. Let's open one. Oh, yahan let's, se hata na. let's move. Yeah. Click on update, save. 
do for the user as well. First, then let's delete these two users. Like now we are sort of going like the dependency way. <laughs> Which one has the lowest dependency? Let's delete them. Why? Logs. Log. Let's go to logs. And then logs go down. Oh, crazy. There's a lot of time. The book should be hot on all that. That's nice. Let's see if we can delete this. Let's try to delete this. We first, I have to save. Okay. Chalo, let's do it. What else you can do? This is the dark side. Of using a no code tool, I would say. My love. I can never imagine doing this if you are coding something. Like we'll write a for loop, we'll execute it, fada fat. For the delete. <laughs> yeah, post delete. Yeah, sudo. <laughs> oh, I don't like that it's a two way reference, which is typically should be one way, and then yeah. it should give an option to cascade. And that is why I like, I really like Prisma. So it, it makes it very intuitive. You just uh, yeah. add the word on the on delete cascade What if we are solving for the wrong error? Ab to sunk cost, bro. Pata chala itna kiye, either bhi nahi kya. We'll laugh about it one day. Maybe that day is today only, but yeah, let's see. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've added the, what do you say? My favorite books as well. What? What are they? What happened? No, I have to be done now. Crazy man. I don't have any. Delete. Let's try deleting. Oh, yeah. But. Yeah, you were saying something. Yeah, I've just added my three favorite books, so yeah, oh. you can try them out as well. Nice. Yeah, I Publish.
wow um undefined method <laughs> okay chalo we have but oh oh done is, oh, okay no this was test okay this was the thing you need i think uh since oh, it's we... in the web. yeah what it's in the webflow ke part mein error i feel we need to remap the fields because we have created new fields what that means is the original fields are nil they don't exist anymore we need to map it to new two fields jo humne do naye fields banaye hain let's go to mapping back to power importer um is there a map it's a power importer thing aur yahan pe ho raha hai ha so what i'm saying is so we have created two new uh this thing right uh what do you say mm. two, two new fields. fields right so we need okay. to map them yeah. again because yeah fields what do fields i think tables is fine go to fields uh edit map uh, fields isme okay. yeah total excerpts and streak are ignored Let we need to mark them. Oh, so they must look at delete from that. No, but this is not right. Ah, uh, okay. I think uh, yeah, yeah, crazy. Now, I like the refresh button. Awesome. Done. <laughs> Let's go. Now that will also take up that like limit uh, part. I don't Because think so. We we actually deleted now. पब्लिश तो किया था कर लेते हैं वापस लेट्स डिलीट दिस टू एक बार फॉर सेफ्टी पर्पसेस लेट्स पब्लिश इट अंकिता का आ जाए लेट्स आई थिंक वो भी आया हुआ है लेट्स डिलीट इट अगेन All right. Let's publish it. No, okay. The book will be deleted. Man, just let's publish it. Just done. Okay. Or the basic layout would be like a piece of cake. <laughs> okay, creating collection items by API. Okay, I think now we're on to something. Updating. Oh, what the state of yeah the tooling is that we are still spending most of the time in errors rather than thinking. It's, it's sad. <laughs> All right. Let's lay out. <laughs> What happened? Can you see the CMS ones? We do have the main. Do you want to refresh once? I don't know. Just refresh it once. Yeah. Well, maybe this item is no longer available. Yeah, possible. Yeah. Caching errors. Interesting. It's up. 
but we don't want Ankita. So how do I change? Um, six three five Ankita by D. Yeah. Oh, item ID. Interesting. Whatever they have done in the layout, that is pretty great. Mm -hmm. Everything is so intuitive. If they allow direct integration with Airtable, then it will be even more powerful. Yeah. Uh, let's do mobile. Instead of, the, yeah. Instead of the default CMS. Yeah. Image, And then uh, currently reading, right? Yeah. So that will be a section. Inside of this section will be a container. And inside the container is going to be two columns. अच्छा लेआउट भी कर सकते हैं लीडिंग लेआउट पर जब आप बनाएं हाँ कॉलम वन विल बी द इमेज पावर इमेज नहीं दिस इज़ ऑल टेक्स्ट we need image. Can we check if we have image in in the? It's the URL, right? Oh, we need to embed URL. I'm not sure how to embed. Let's try. Let's try. Get URL from user cover. Hmm. How do we render it? Uh, do we have an option of custom code here? Just a second. We can search for how to render image. Custom code box. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if they will allow custom code box in the three tier. Yep. Would it be an embed? Uh, not sure. Let's try custom code. Is there an option of custom code? Yeah, looking for that. Can't see a custom code option. Can you see one? 
I don't see this. Uh, go down, go down. Uh, let, let's just see the scroll. See, my hona chahiye. Div list item link paragraph block code go down. Image video form label input text area recapture. Um, I think it should be embed only. Let's try embed. Embed star. Uh, what is star? Premium. Premium. Okay, so. Got it. Yeah, it's embedded only, but we need premium. Got it. So, so for now, we, yeah, since we have like we are getting it from Airtable and we have the book, the cover should be an image. Like we'll have to manually upload the image. Okay. Cool. Give me one minute. I just change the type of the script. Of okay. course, let's download all the images. Let's just let's just see. Uh, just duplicate this column so that there's a backup. Uh, just duplicate field. Yeah, and then let's see if we change the field. Can it render automatically? No, no. Just just wait. Just wait. Uh, just do attachment. Click attachment here. Can I do automatically? That would be like amazing. <laughs> nah. Maybe for some point, Oh, there are options. Nice. This is from the attachment to uh, URL. Okay. And what is the other? Let's. Let's see if there's the other way around as well. I don't think so that is. So it's close to 10 now. Can we create an automation for this? Maybe. Uh, let's end the screen for today. Um, um, I just want to get like one thing. Let's just try for like till 10, like 12 more minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So we have this, this. Achha, do, do we have like a public page as well for this? Public page uh, as well. Like, do we have some URL slash profile slash username? Like, can I access it publicly? You should using the plug. So I need to publish this on the screen. Okay, just open that in a new website, in the new tab. User company lagawa. Crazy, amazing. Yeah. Is it done? I think from a from a dynamicity perspective, I think we are there where we wanted. 
uh, we can yeah. like work on the design and other things uh, let's just quickly see if we can get the currently reading another those two things if we can get let's just try automations uh, go to a table uh let's let's try an automation go to automations um we will create a new new field checkbox trigger uh, just create a new field here for now trigger yeah let's do a checkbox done let's go to automation where is it top top Let's do uh, add trigger on when when record is record updated. updated. When record matches uh, conditions kar sakte hai. select a table books. Uh, add condition trigger when trigger is checked. Uh, just yeah, I think that is fine. Just test this step. Okay, let's do update record. Uh, select same table. Record ID, um, just do the same one, like step one, record ID, yeah. Uh, record ID, right? Yeah, cover image, yeah, go down, click on dynamic insert. Yeah, click on plus at the right. Let's see if we can do it. Um, let's do the cover. No, no, cover image, not cover. So there are two fields, right? One is cover mm -hmm. URL and then cover. So let's do, yeah, cover URL. Maybe we're adding this. Generate a preview. Let's just try. Let's just try generating a preview. Let's see if it works. Achha, we need to check that. Uh, just check any, we can do this later. Go to data, check something. Nee, it's not. I think second say here. Yeah, let's see now. I think we go, uh, uh, go to automations. We live me. We need to. Yeah, it's not live. Click on update record, generate a preview. Just want to see if this works or not. Okay. Go down, go down. Mm, let's see. Let's make it live. I'm not sure if it is right or not, but yeah, let's make it live. Uh, turn on on the top. Yeah, let's like check it and then let's see if it works or not. I'm not sure if it works or not. Oh, it, it did. Awesome. 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 <laughs> awesome. <laughs> cool. We are at our experts. That's the fun part of no code. Yeah. Good thing about this trigger workflow is the URLs can be fetched by a code later. If, yeah. if you just drop down the book name, all the Goodreads link, cover images link can be fetched by a code, and then whatever things we can do in no code will do it in no code automation itself. Crazy. So let's add two. Uh, okay, I think we just need a smack cover link. Take care.
we'll just call it cover it's called cover image so it's one 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 okay. that's it and uh, favorite books be can we show yeah yeah so, so we'll need we'll map it from here i just need to save and publish uh so then we need to uh go to this uh, go to a table we need to get the the images in the users table as well so go to users table um go to the right go to the right go to the right ha huh. oh, yeah it. but i think it's not expecting from this one it's just expecting the whole uh like the whole table itself for the understood book. understood makes sense actually yeah should work did i publish yep we'll have to uh, map it right no oh, yeah so refresh uh, let's just refresh once yeah perfect I'm still surprised that automation worked. <laughs> Even me. <laughs> that was just a, you know. It just felt intuitive and uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Six book yeah. updates. Pretty nice. Let's do mobile view. This could be the power. Awesome. Nice, nice. Love it. Can we get the favorite images, favorite books as well? Yeah. Uh, okay, but it didn't show me the option for the favorite book. So Where? List. No. It should have ideally shown. Acha, I think maybe the the CMS does not have those options yet. The schema. Or maybe we need to add it on the list side from list. Side no, no. Uh, like, did we add in the in the CMS schema? Favorite book. Achha, 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 achha. Achha. Then list. We need list. Yes. Of course, here name is right? Name. Of course, it would be currently reading. Right. Can we? Huh, okay, I think design will do later. Yeah. Text box. Uh, heading. Cool. H2. Currently reading. So this feels very nice. <laughs> User commentary reading name. Amazing. This should have been on top. Yeah. Oh, but we'll just change it. The design. Uh okay. so, so this is this image in is this image what? Hunting I think we'll work on design later. That's fine. Then we need and another section. I'm just okay. Let's
uh, just drag it uh, uh, to like bilkul oh nahi aa raha all right yahan par we need the list yeah for container and then where's the list go up go up go up yeah list this is a static list i think go to list go to main list instead of list item yeah I don't think it can render dynamically. Uh, go 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 back to the add add thing. Add container, uh, add element. Go down, go down. What is the CMS collection list? I think we need collection. Oh, I think this is what we need. Right. Where it works. Okay, it gives up all the con uh collection items. What what? Like the entire collection thing it's rendering. You don't need this. How do I remove this? Just press delete. Yes. Collection list. I just delete this from well. the delete option okay how about we use uh, this uh, we use list item right let's use list no so we would need the connection with itself okay. how did this come here where did the list go <laughs> Collection list. Favorite books. So I don't. What is layout? Layout is how do you want to lay this out? I want it in three columns. Acha, acha, got it. Now go to collection item one, and then so this is the source. Uh, this is this is fine. Now go one uh, step deeper. Uh, yeah. Go down, go below, go into collection item, and then books setting. So now you can drag an image here, and, and then get the source the data. Data. Yeah. A bit complex, but yeah. Our image. Done. These are my favorite. Oh. <laughs> done. Yeah. Done. I done. I think that is a very nice point. Now we are only left on the excerpt. Yeah, excerpt is also actually sort of, um, sort of done because we just need uh, what do you say? Uh, the automation that we created, right? We just need to create it again. If you want to do it now, we can do it now as as well. We just need a. I have already added five excerpts URLs. In the if you go to go to logs, uh, in a table, if you go to logs, so I've added five uh, go right, go right. I've added five images. We just need to like uh create another automation. Uh, I think like this is also done then. <laughs> So that's for your no your table. Yeah. Let's just do this quickly. I think we need we'll need a we'll need a new uh we'll need a new column there attachment. 
एंड अ ट्रिगर सो दिस इज कॉल्ड अ कोट शॉप है ना या और व्हाट डू वी नीड टू कॉल दिस एक्सेप्ट एक्सेप्ट इमेज एक्सेप्ट इमेज या अटैचमेंट एंड अ ट्रिगर या या एड कंडीशन ओ जस्ट या डिलीटेड या वेन वेन ट्रिगर वेन ट्रिगर इज चेक दैट्स ऑल of the condition update record log yeah. uh, we need, we need to change this i think this acha step 1 this should work yeah should work yeah we just need the exact image to be the image no 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 the image image the excerpt no no image so image okay. is the url yeah yeah just uh yeah yeah that's fine we can just make it live i think this works we know hmm. yeah let's just check all those five and magic shall happen let's just open that first one let's just see yeah yeah it's cool right click delete cool we have five code shots perfect Up to like we are we are in the zone now, but we'll stop after this. But yeah, I think we're pretty much now. It's just mostly UI stuff. Design, yeah, design stuff. Yeah. Oh no, we need to map app, no? Yeah. This will fail. And this will not fail, but yeah. Refresh. Ah, uh, we need the images over right. The the. यहाँ पर भी अपडेट करना Okay. Save. Publish. This is actually also a good way to learn these tools. Like if I would have sat and uh, saw a tutorial, for sure, that, would, that wouldn't have been as practical. Yeah. Also, the thing is that. Uh, real world problem statements give you real constraints, which mm. is uh like if uh, we did not have the constraints right now, we would not be like, exploring these uh automations and like uh, yeah. a bunch of things. We are doing this because there are constraints, and that is how real world work is as well. You are working with constraints rather than like a just a random exploration. So I would like to thank you for being on the call. Otherwise, I would have been coding by now. <laughs> I would have been doing my. No man, like I, 
I have been a developer and I am like immensely sold on the power of no code for MVPs. I'm not saying this will be will be using this one year from now, but yeah. for the next few months, the stage that we are in, which is just the MVP of figuring out whether this profile actually nudges more people to read or not, I think this is the way to go. Okay. You want it to be three columns? Open individual log. Oh, add an item right. Image. Get. Okay, get all text should be that excerpt. And that image should be the excerpt image. And then in the moment of post, we have the layout is not good, but we Done. have what we want. Done. Yeah, I think the first two images, like they, they first two accepts don't have an image. That is why like the first two are empty and we're done. No, no, no. That, that was actually the layout thing. Otherwise it would oh, have yeah. rendered the extra. Cool. I think this is pretty much done. done. We published and let's see if like. Yeah, this is the good part is this is like a, uh, like we can also like do in that thread we can post that in the thread as well Ki, huh? this is what we build in the call which is like pretty cool i, I just don't oh, like that awesome. my page is like too too big if you can just add a constraint on the image i think this is good to post on twitter uh, is there a way to like just limit the max height and width of this image that is yeah that is the max should be 100 so what i think it should be pixels um yeah we can change it to pixel yeah let's do like 100 pixels let's see how yeah, it looks. Small. 320 okay let's let's see how 320 looks 320. I, I think this this will yeah this will automatically like i think one constraint is fine we can just do width height will automatically scale we don't need max yeah 620. uh let's do yeah, here let's do pixel as well. So this is a different layout, right? Desktop layout. We need to change here as well. Oh, oh, got it. That was only for the mobile view, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's just see mobile first. It looks really good uh, on mobile. Yeah. Let's do pixel. Uh, this is percentage, yeah. Let's do pixel. You can do even okay. Yeah, this looks awesome. Currently reading this. And then should we just add like a favorite books label as well and the excerpts label and done. Oh, over here. Yeah. So we can just call, duplicate the currently reading label and just make a favorite books label and then excerpts label. Yeah. Just duplicate this right click duplicate on heading. So you can use a uh, left bar. Just go left me heading to a right. Uh, yeah, just click right click, duplicate. Oh, can't duplicate this guy. Just call, control C, control V. Yeah, just drag that down. Yeah, perfect. And just change that text. Favorite book? Yeah. Uh, let's remove the U. I think we can just go with F A V O R I T U. 
yeah and current leading should it be like left on the left or on the right on the right theek hai done that we can improve the yeah, yeah favorite books ho gaya and then just copy this and just make it for excerpts as well and we are done good to go Uh, yeah, I'm just like just thinking if we can, um, uh, like the layout feels pretty. I'm not sure what is the issue with the layout. Like, why is it starting? Like, why are two empty? Okay, can we add a filter? Just uh, click on the uh one wrapper above, collection just wrapper. Just click. Uh, no, not this. The below one. Yeah, click on settings. Uh, source logs. Can we add a condition this, here? This looks better, no? This looks better. Yeah. How how did it change? I changed it from three to two. This looks better. This looks much better. <laughs> there is an empty space. What is the empty space? Where is the empty space? There is one empty state over here too. Maybe that is what is taking the extra. I'll just remove this. Let's move it to outside of this collection. Oh, oh! I think I think I think empty state is if the collection is empty, then that layout. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Crazy. Crazy. This is, UX. This is great use. Yeah, yeah. For for it's someone oh, oh, who does not have any okay. excerpts, what do you show for them? Something like that. So we can show okay. something there. Done. Maybe maybe if you want to like test it for Ankita, maybe uh, you'll find that. Can I just publish? Yep, I think you can just publish. Good to go. done man this was pretty fun yep now it's all about design yeah i think design is like uh we can once we have figured out the integration part design is something we'll just sit uh one day more and uh, we'll, we'll figure it out yeah just yeah. playing around with a bunch of stuff yeah awesome we can get someone on the call as well <laughs> to help with the design once once the integration is done but yeah i think overall uh can you share the url i also want to see on my browser how it looks Pretty cool, man. This looks awesome. Okay, then should I stop sharing? Yes, yes. So, awesome. yeah, I think we achieved what we wanted to do. This is yeah. like uh, from a we are like ninety percent done. We just need to do the layout. Yeah, we can like roll it out. Once design is done, we can roll it out for other people in the cohort, and we we'll can also... actually reveal this on Saturday. Mm -hmm. we, do we have a session on Saturday? We have it on Sunday this time, um, because oh. yeah, we're just trying out whether Sunday works better for folks, because for some people Saturdays are working. So yeah, I think Sunday go. Let's reveal this. Uh, should be pretty fun, and uh, yeah, just just think of like how like the the um uh, the what do you say. The default is we'll give them editable forms to fill out, or maybe we can also backfill manually. But uh, if they can log in via Webflow and <laughs> edit it, that would be amazing. But I think not needed for now. We'll think next month. For now, this this works best uh, because we're giving them a like a social proof, social uh, what do you say, real estate or something. We're giving them something to share. Um, so let's see how that goes.
super awesome man this was fun uh, yeah cool let me know when uh, when we, let's do the design sometime before sunday and uh, yeah perhaps even tomorrow i'll i'll let you know ha huh, let's know. let's ping in the group and let's take it forward from there we can stop recording oh yeah yeah cool folks uh, i'll share this url of what we built in the description and uh, hope to see you next time and in the next cohort as well <laughs> of yeah. the next 30 yeah